Welcome back to our question and answer sessions. Here's a very specific question that um, is directed toward Semitics, studies in Semitics and phonology. And that question is, does KH make the same or produce the same sound as the hooked H sound? So in Semitic transliteration, um, there's a bunch of different H's. There's a, an H, a regular H, which is a huh sound. There's an H with a dot under it, and there's an H with a hook under it. And we'll call that the hooked H. It tends to sound like H when we make the sound. And so we think, okay, does this sound the same as KH? And often those sounds are confused. Historically, however, the KH reflects a spirantized cap. And so it is a softer K rather than a hard H. Now I'm going to uh, approximate those sounds for you so you can hear them. First, I'm going to do the hooked H. Kh. Now the um, KH sound, which is the spirantized K or the kaf rukaha or rukaha, which is kh. Kh. So the second sound, you should be able to hear a K. Kh. Kh. Look, look, right? So to you, look, or boch with you, as opposed to um, buchrana, buchrana, right? An examination of some sorts. And I'm using Aramaic words, by the way, just to articulate that. And the Aramaic is the Eastern dialect, in case people are wondering, because that, that tends to make the hooked H sound for the chet. Hebrew will use a, um, for their dotted or emphatic H, sound, they will uh, make this chet sound that probably more aligns with the hooked H um, as it's written and recorded. But one of the troubles we have is knowing how certain letters or even cuneiform signs that represent these sounds were actually pronounced at that time period because those people aren't alive. Um, instead, we have inherited traditions, and those traditions differ um, from place to place. And so some people will, especially like in modern Aramaic speakers, um, you will hear people pronounce one hath a certain way, um, buhrano, buhrano. the others would pronounce buhrana, buhrana. and so uh, you hear the O and the A sound, forget about that. But the, the way that the letter hath is pronounced sounds one way in one region, another way in another. Um, communities like the Arabs, they have... Um, a superscripted dot to distinguish between H and H sounds. So a dotted H and a hooked H um, in that tradition. Uh, in ancient form is called Ugaritic. Ugaritic also has a distinguishing mark for a hooked H, a H sound. And it does not have a discernible KH sound, a K, K, right? So uh, technically these sounds are different. They are articulated by different phony or they're articulated by different characters, but they sound so close that it's often that they are confused. You know, the the harder H and the KH sound. The KH is sometimes written by you know people who spoke German as CH. Um, so you may hear a a, a greeting, you know, or you may hear a prayer, you know, Baruch Ata Adonai, blessed is the Lord. Um, and that Baruch, 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 right? It's a K sound at the end because the, the word goes back to the word for blessing, Barak, you know, and so the final K is, is spiritized in that case. That's a Hebrew prayer, by the way, uh, where it's the beginning of a lot of Hebrew prayers. So they are different. They may not always sound that way. And that's a normal human thing to make different letters sound similar. Uh, and if you you ask these questions about language learning and Semitic languages, you're pretty soon going to start reflecting on your own language and the way that different people speak your own language and be like, you know, I guess I could write that word that we know with this letter or that letter. Or people from the Northeast would say it this way. People from the South would say it this way. People from this island would say it that way. Uh, people from, you know, this colony, you know, would say it in such a, a, a way. And they could all be ways of our, um, attempting to articulate those certain sounds. Thank you for that question. If you have other fun questions like that, definitely send them my way. I enjoy stuff. Whenever I have the opportunity to use my throat uh, when speaking, 
you know, and um, make these really hard guttural sounds, um, I get excited. So thanks for the question and keep them coming. Thank you.